I'm just gonna let this clip play and showcase itself. The animation is so jaw-droppingly good, but at the same time, just so jarring. I've never seen an anime really just get that type of emotion out of me, because anyone that actually takes a hard look at just the way this show looks, like, you know, this segment here, can probably say, yeah, this is pretty impressive animation, even though it looks funky, like, it's really weird-looking perspective-wise, body length and all that, it is still very impressive just the way the camera moves around to the lighting and all that, it's, it looks good, it does, even to the hair animation. And so, when I watched this first episode of The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses, I am definitely thinking that this series is going to fall into two different categories of people that watch it. You're going to have those that really, really hate this series, like extreme hate for it, or you're going to have those that really like the uniqueness of the art and animation that is on full display here with just the character designs. And so let's talk about that. So, ever since the trailers for this dropped, we have seen some very funky-looking art and animation to, like, for instance, just the way the characters are drawn or the movement in the background. It looks really, really freaking weird. And... Obviously, this isn't the normal design and animation that we're used to. Like, when we think about art and animation for anime, there is a certain level there that is pretty normal. Like, you, you recognize it because it's very similar to everything else. And obviously, when you look at this, it is very different. And as I said in my videos when I was talking about the trailers, I was like... It reminds me a lot of how unique Clamp was. If anyone remembers Studio Clamp, or not Studio Clamp, but just Clamp in general, you know, that used to make, like, crazy different manga designs and stuff with long legs and limbs. When I take a look at this, Studio Go Hands is just doing something very bizarre and unique with this show. And automatically, does that mean because it's unique and different that it is bad, so to speak? Honestly, I don't think so. I think that, yes, it does look weird and jarring, but you're not going to tell me, looking at the way this movement is, that it doesn't look absolutely impressive. And I feel like, I, I could be wrong here, quote me on this, or don't quote me on this, but um, it looks like there is even some frames throughout this episode that is like 60 frames per second. And normal anime, from my understanding, is like 30 frames per second, or 27 frames per second. Or No, actually, I think it's lower. I think it's 24 frames. Regardless of whatever frames, it's definitely lower than 60, okay? It's def definitely around the 30 mark or lower. And the point is, is I feel like oh, there's some portions of this episode that definitely look 60 frames. And it, once again, it's very jarring just seeing this type of form map because it's just not something you're used to seeing like when I see this animation of the perspective moving around the characters and all that and the characters walking in it's just eerie now let's actually get into the content besides obviously the very jarring and bonkers animation that honestly reminds me of just something that is just like the animators going balls to the wall like going crazy with the art and animation like they're just doing whatever they want I do think that overall, the first episode is very enjoyable. Now, do I think it's anything to write home about and say that it is an impressive story, impressive characters, anything like that? I would not necessarily say that. I do think that at the end of the day, taking a hard look at this and trying to be neutral on everything, it is a very stereotypical start to a romance. A romance type comedy type series about a girl that literally forgets her glasses it's in the title and I think that overall the gimmick of it of her forgetting her glasses probably could overstay its welcome because I mean how much can a girl continuously forget her glasses every single day you know what I mean like imagine like you know just waking up in the morning you forget your glasses and then you're like oh yeah I forgot my glasses and then the next day you forget your glasses again obviously there's a certain line there to where it becomes kind of unbelievable and you're just like this character has to literally be dumb like you just have to really be dumb to forget your glasses that many times so in terms of that gimmick I could see a lot of people not liking it and being very annoyed by that very trope but besides that I think that, like I said, the series has a lot going for it. I think that the impressive art and animation really does make this series pop. And I think that truly, th we have a good show on our hands. This is a potentially really good show. Like, I love the hair animation. Like, can, can we talk about that? Like, it's just so lively. Like, I, I just, it is honestly insane how lively the hair looks. And 
I, I give respect because moving the hair in art animation is definitely difficult. I know sometimes it can look a little bit bizarre, but uh, I will give credit where credit is due on that end. Now, um, besides that, I do think that in terms of voice acting, the voice actors are pretty good. It's I have no complaints whatsoever, just average voice actors. The music fits the flow and tone of the story, and I think that overall it's exactly what I would want from a series such as this. I mean... I think that legitimately this might be one of those series that, like I said, is going to be a very hardline stance with a lot of people. You're going to have those that absolutely love this series. They're going to be praising its notes and tunes. And in a way, I guess I'm doing that because it's like I'm saying that, you know, it's unique and different. And I do enjoy this. But I understand why some would not like it just because of the choice of art and animation that is on display here. That, Like I said, it does look weird. It does. I will not even pretend to deny that. I'm not. So let's talk about that uniqueness. Is it bad for this studio, for the staff to be doing this, to make something just so jarring that it could just stop people from watching? I don't think so. And here's my reasoning for that. I think legitimately that we need more stuff like this in the industry. I know that, you know, people might chalk it up to bad directing, you know, bad, you know, direction with the episode overall, etc. Might say, you know, Gohans is, you know, a fraud, whatever, you know, people want to say. I, I, I know people are going to say that, but I think at the end of the day, I'd rather a studio take risk and do something different besides the normal format and do something that really just will stand out amongst the rest and just do the stereotypical insert romance anime for this anime season or insert, you know, standard Asekai anime, etc. You know, I appreciate when studios take risk and try to do something different than the norm because it shows that they're trying to actually be creative. They're really demonstrating art because art is about being creative and unique and expressing yourself. And I feel like even though there's a lot of things that potentially could be wrong with this episode, I think it's nice seeing animators being able to express themselves in such a very creative way with the first episode. So yeah, I mean, I like it. I, I, I legitimately do. But I won't fault anyone for dropping the show after the first episode or hating it, etc. Because it's definitely one of those shows that's uh, going to be heavily dependent if you like the art style. Like, I mean, there's a lot of anime usually is like that, but people don't want to swallow this hard to swallow pill. But most anime, if it doesn't look good to them, they're not going to watch it. That's just the end of the discussion. There's a reason why a lot of people don't go back and watch old school anime. Not because it's bad, but because a lot of people just don't like the jarring shift of art style. That just looks very old. It's, it's true. Now, obviously, this comment doesn't go to everyone. There's a lot of people that go back and watch old shows. I'm just saying there is a lot of people that get into anime, and they don't want to watch something that's old looking or different looking because it looks really weird. It's like ping pong the animation. If anyone remembers when that came out years ago, it might have been almost a decade ago, there was so much hate around ping pong the animation just because it looked weird. It, it, the art and animation just looks extremely different, and it was hated on. It was called, like, the ugliest anime of all time. And obviously that's incorrect, but obviously when something is different, people, they don't like it. But I guess I want to wrap up this video here. Um, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video, and um, let me know your thoughts on how you felt about the first episode. Do you enjoy the characters? Do you enjoy the series? I know I talked a lot about the art and animation, but I think that's a really big discussion point that's causing a lot of people to really talk about this show, and I feel like I'd be doing a disingenuous take if I didn't really focus on it, because that's really what's getting a lot of people to really start this show. Let's be honest. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. Like I said, I want to continue watching it. I'm going to, you know, potentially make more videos on it, but I just wanted to say my piece on the first episode. Be safe. Stay healthy, everyone. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all. Chibi out.